In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use WooCommerce modules in a very creative way. Coming up. So normally when we use WooCommerce, we're normally stuck to the standard way of how WooCommerce shows its pages. But with the WooCommerce modules in Divi, this gives us a lot of flexibility, which means we can add products to pages. We can also add products to posts. And this could make our website even way more exciting. Let me just give you an idea. So let's say you have a website which, uh, or a blog post which is talking about a particular product. So instead of linking to that product, you can have that product below on that article. So this really makes your website you know, more dynamic and it makes it even more unique. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to start using this, uh, Woocom these WooCommerce modules but before I do that, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. Let's dive in and let me show you how to use this. Right now, I'm in my WordPress dashboard. Let's just create a quick page here. So I'm going to click on add new and uh, we're just going to call this page. Let's call this test. Okay, now what I've done ahead of time is I've already gone in and created a product. So we have a product already and all we need to do is to just drag it in and add it on our page. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a pre-made layout because I don't want to design all this from scratch. I just want to show you how all this works together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this DV for business layout and then I'm going to go ahead and install this. Now, of course, this technique that I'm showing you will work on pretty much, you know, any type of uh, layout that you have. So once this layout has been loaded, what we're going to do is we are going to go in and add a product that we have uh, in our WooCommerce product list. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is almost uh, installed and take a while. Okay, so there we go. So what I'm going to do right away is I'm going to go in and publish this page because I don't want to lose any of this information. So now I'm just gonna go back over here to my site so I can show you where the product is. So to see all your products, you just come over here and click on all products. So this will show you all your products on your website. So the one that we need is this one here called new product. That's the one we're gonna use. To add a new product, it's very easy. All you have to do is to come over here on add new. Right, so back over here, this is our page. So let's say I wanna add my product over here. In fact, let's find a good place for it. Okay, let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, and now let's add a new section. There we go. We're gonna say regular, and let's have two columns here. Great. So, first of all, we need would like to add an image of the product. So I'm gonna search for new image. There we go. So there's the image. And now I can click here and this will show me all my products on my website. So I'm gonna choose this new product because that's the one we're gonna add. And I'm just gonna save that. Next, I'm just gonna add a background to this section just to make it different from what we have there. So I'm gonna go with a really dark gray like that. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then next over here, I'm gonna add the product uh, name. So I'm gonna start adding my WooCommerce module. So this could be Woo uh, title. I'm gonna click here. And here I can specifically choose the product, which is new product. We can save that. Okay. And then next I'm gonna add the description. So again, I'm gonna search for Woo description, and here it is. I'm gonna save that. And then finally, we also need the add to cart because this is what's gonna allow this to work properly. So I'm gonna click here and add to cart. There we go. So now I've just added a product onto a page without actually having the WooCommerce product page. So this is really, really powerful. You can really create amazing layouts using this technique. So with this now, I can go in and change my text color because right now it doesn't look great here on this dark background. 
So I'm gonna go into text here and first of all, change my font. And then I'm gonna change this to white so I can read it. And perhaps I may want to increase the size a little bit here. There we go. I'll just save that and then over here on the title, I can go in as well, design and title text. Let's change this to Poppins. We can make it all caps and we can change the color as well. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to go in and change your colors. And over here, I'm just gonna make it bold, save. I can also do the same with, with the button. I can go in here, click on design button, use custom styles for button, activate that because that's how you're going to be able to go in and make changes to this. Okay, so now that I have that, I can uh, now add my background color and let's just go with this red for my background color. And uh, for this, I'm gonna remove the border and I also want to change my text color here. There we go. And we also need to change the font. Let's change this to Poppins because this is what makes it uh, consistent with what we have here. And then we're gonna save. We're gonna save the page. Now, when we take a look at this page, let's save and exit. When we take a look at this page, it started off as a standard page on your website but now you can add products on to an existing page. So let's scroll down here and take a look. Okay, almost there. Okay, so as you can see, I have my product here on its own section and I can add to cart and also I can add the quantities here of how many I need to add. And in fact, you know what? I forgot to add the pricing. So we can also add the price here so people know how much it is and how much they can buy. And then when they click on add to cart, it adds the item to the cart over here at the top and you can go ahead and do the checkout. Now this, I've done this on a page, but you can also do this on a post. So that means your post now can be even more powerful and more dynamic. And this is possible because we are using the WooCommerce modules in Divi. Now, the other thing as well that you can do is you can also add animations to this. You can add all the styling that we, that we used to with the, the Divi Builder. So it's very, very powerful and I highly recommend that you can start using this way of designing your WooCommerce pages and adding products onto your website using this technique. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.